Good day. So, I feel like I should finally make this video. Um, I've wanted to for, I don't even know how long. Um, it's been a few years, but every time I was going to, I'd think about it and we're like, no, people don't really need to hear. Like, but then, all right, here it is. So, um, I had a lot of, like, medical problems. I was having seizures really bad for years. Um, but I had this, uh, this seizure that lasted for 24 hours, and, uh, it killed me for a minute and a half and put me in a coma for 12 days. Um, and when I woke up, uh, my, my brother had asked me, he's like, uh, hey, like, what happened? Do you, do you remember, like, where you were when you were dead for that minute and a half? And, and I told him, I was like, oh, well, first of all, I was an atheist. I didn't believe in God. I definitely didn't believe in Jesus. I thought there was like a like 0.1% chance of God and even less of that of Jesus. I just, I just didn't, I didn't believe in it at all. And I used to make fun of people um, who did. I, I thought they were stupid. I, I thought they were, I used to, oh, the Bible, that's a good book of fairy tales. Enjoy that. I was, I was real dismissive and just stupid. I, I didn't, I didn't know. I, I had no idea. <laughs> but I thought I did. That's the problem. Everybody who talks about, like, God and everything, they, they think they know, but they have no idea. So I told them, I was like, no, you know, it was nothing. It was just, like, good sleep. The problem is, is that I didn't remember <laughs> for a long time. Uh, years. For years, I didn't remember. Um... <laughs> Sorry, my puppy's having issues. Um, I'll throw it a minute. Chill out. So, basically, what happened was, um, I was just suddenly there, uh, in front of God, who was in front of me, and Jesus was standing next to me, glowing. And I was on my knees. I was, I was on my knees, like, crying uncontrollably, like, inconsolably crying because I felt so unworthy to be in the presence of God and Jesus. Um, and I don't remember, I don't remember what they said to me or like what happened. Um, th this is what I know. I was just suddenly there and I was crying uncontrollably because I felt so unworthy to be in the presence of God and Jesus. Um, and people have asked me, you know, oh, well, what does God look like? We can't look at God. Like, I knew automatically that God knew everything I had ever said, felt, thought, or did. I knew automatically. He knew everything about, there was nothing I could, no thought, no feeling. He knew it all instantly and I knew instantly that he knew it all there was nothing I was going to be able to hide from God um sorry this this is taking me forever and it's 800 degrees in here um what, what else do I want to say about it um this has changed my life a lot um, I'm not sure what to do with this, to be honest with you. I've, since this has happened, I've looked into the Bible, I've, I've studied it. I, 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 I just don't know what to make of any of it. Um, I know this. God is real. Jesus is real. He, I don't know what they said to me, but I felt like... Jesus was my representative, my savior, basically, if you will. Um, he was, he was standing next to me glowing and also, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm like getting distracted here. So people ask me, oh, well, what does God look like? We can't look at God. I knew instantly that I couldn't look at God. And the best way I can explain it is that the glory that is God is too much for us to look at. 
does that make any sense to anybody? It, if it doesn't now, it will when you're there. <laughs> um, here's the thing. Um, I, I've told people this. Some people dismiss me. Some people think I'm crazy. Other people say, oh, you saw what you wanted to see. Well, that's not true because I didn't even believe in God or Jesus. So that's not what I wanted to see. You know what I mean? Um, I'm, I'm forgetting something very important. When, we're, when I was there, I felt like they communicated like to me through feelings if you will. I mean, but I don't remember them saying anything like to me, but I remember this. And this is why I think I didn't remember right away. I don't think I was supposed to remember because what I do remember is what it felt like to be loved by God. And Think of the person you love the most in this world and try to magnify that times a million. That's what it feels like to be loved by God. And I don't think that we're supposed to remember it when we're here. Because if we did, none of us would want to be here. Because what it feels to be loved by God is nothing you'll ever experience in this flesh. It's just how it is. And people can people can say what they want about this. Write it off. Oh, blah, blah, blah. Oh, have you taken DMT? I've heard it all. I've heard it all. Nobody understands. Nobody will understand until they're there. And we're all going to be there again. I know for a fact... I'm going to be there in front of God and Jesus again. And one of the reasons I'm making this video is because I don't want to get back there and have them say to me, Hey, you knew for a fact we were real. You knew. You knew. And you could have told somebody. And it might have made a difference for them. And you didn't. I'm not going to be responsible for that. So this is it. You can take it for what you want. Believe me if you want. You'll find out. You will find out. We will all find out. Um, this is just a heads up. Um, as far as the Bible, it's the, only, it's the only place that I found any kind of answers about Jesus or God. Um, that's all I can say. I, all I know is what I, I've i experienced. And I experienced being in the presence of God and Jesus. That's a real thing. Um, and since all of this, I've been on YouTube trying to, you know, hear other people's near-death experiences, if you will. Um, and it's, 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 it's scary. It, it's just scary. I... Uh, the scary thing is this, I've spent my whole life living for the world and I had no idea like I was supposed to be living differently. I'm a gay man, uh, I've, I've spent my life sinning, like according to the Bible I've been sinning horribly. I don't know how to stop, I smoke cigarettes, I smoke weed, I fucking molly, I, I swear like a truck driver, I've had relations with it doesn't matter. We're not living right, and that's pretty scary when I know for a fact we're all going to be back there again. So, I don't know, I just wanted to share my story, and I have to go because my dog is just going nuts with her toy. I just wanted, I needed to get it out, Take take it for what it is, you know? Just, I, I just needed to get it out of me. So there it is. Have a good day.